Uh, but let's shift our focus to the other interesting aspect of COVID-19 that we're tracking today. Can COVID-19 mysteries be solved via genetics? Can your DNA in a certain sense, determine how susceptible you are to COVID-19. Well, the MET Genome and the Sci Genome Research Foundation say that DNA can determine susceptibility to COVID-19. The ACE2 receptor, which is found in the human body, actually has the potential to determine whether you're more prone to catch the severe disease. It's an absolutely um, fascinating concept. Dr. Vedram Prasad, uh, he is a scientist and CEO of Med Genome. He's joining us. Uh, Professor Girdharar Babu, Professor, Head of Life Course Epidemiology from the Public Health Foundation of India is also with us from Bangalore. Thanks so much uh, for, for joining us on this extremely interesting conversation. Dr. Vedam Ram Prasad, can I begin by asking you, what is, uh, you know, what is the correlation between genetics and COVID-19? What have you found? Uh, its genome uh, is mutating and um, a lot depends upon how either the host genome like humans or the viral genomes uh, behave and how they change uh, influence the outcomes of the disease severity or transmissibility. Apart from the viral genome, uh, even human genomes, uh, there are uh, individuals who get COVID and who are asymptomatic or who are mildly symptomatic. Uh, there are individuals uh, even in um, middle age or young age with more, no comorbidities but go into a very severe disease, uh, get into ICUs uh, or even um, unfortunately die. Uh, it's because of there are certain variants in our genome uh, which make us uh, more susceptible to the severe uh, COVID. Uh, there are uh, several papers published and we've been working on analyzing uh, several uh, genes in the human genome as to what makes uh, uh, some of the individuals uh, uh, get severe COVID. For example, uh, it's well proven beyond doubt, that there are certain variants in uh, the blood group genes, uh, the ABO blood group genes. Uh, uh, some of the specific blood group gene variants make uh, individuals get much, much severe COVID uh, compared to uh, other individuals. So apart from studying the whole genome, which is very critical, how the virus is mutating, it is also important for us to understand we humans, uh, uh, is there any specific genetic variants which make us more susceptible to severe form of COVID? Well, it's an absolutely, uh, you know, fascinating conversation. I want to also uh, bring in Professor Babu into the conversation. Professor Babu, uh, you know, many say that uh, Indians, uh, you know, have been very lucky when it comes uh, to the COVID-19 pandemic, at least so far. And I don't want to jinx that. Can India's low mortality and low morbidity, uh, in a certain sense, uh, you know, be attributed to our, uh, to our genes? Yeah, apart from gods and genes, there are several hypotheses around which uh, why Indians have lower morbidity and mortality. Some of them include younger age of uh, Indians and probably cross-infection with uh, other types of coronaviruses in the past which is generally now very famously known as hygiene hypothesis. And also, there is also some kind of uh, hypothesis around whether T-cell uh, response uh, can also be instrumental in this. So there are multiple hypotheses, including the role of uh, whether we have a genetic advantage. So that needs to be further uh, investigated. So there are uh, both control arms and the arms where uh, Indians will have to be um, you know, tested to see whether this is indeed true, whether the severity can be reduced because of the genetic uh, status, or is it also because of uh, uh, some other environmental factors, or is it a combination right. of both? Well, can COVID-19 mysteries actually be solved by understanding human genetics? It's a conversation we'll continue to have. Thank you both gentlemen uh, for joining us on the show with your perspective. We're going to slip into a very short break, but COVID variants is not just a